infertility in vitro fertilization introduction medically assisted human reproductive technologies are a group of high treatment methods used to combat infertility one of the greatest advances in reproductive medicine techniques include intrauterine insemination IUI in vitro fertilization and embryo transfer IVF -ET. gametic intrafilopian transfer ZIFT zygotic intrafilopian transfer ZIFT tubal embryo stage transfer TES intracytoplasmic sperm injection ICSI infertility infertility is referred to couple that has failed to conceive after 12 months of regular sexual intercourse without the use of any contraception infertility can be due to the woman or man or both classification primary infertility the couple is never being able to conceive secondary infertility the couple is being able to conceive but the pregnancy is not taken to full turns or had miscarriage causes of infertility male factor 40 percent family factor 40 percent combined 10 percent unexplained 10 percent general causes of infertility factors affecting fertility of both the sexes environmental factors such as pesticides toxic effects related to tobacco smoking alcohol drinking or other drugs excessive exercise inadequate diet advanced age female infertility causes possible causes of infertility infection polyps polycystic ovaries blockage of uterine tube uterine septum adhesions endometriosis or endometrioma fibroids male infertility causes quantity problem no sperm azoospermia and poor sperm quantity oligospermia quality problem poor sperm quality low motility esthesuspermia a high percentage of abnormal sperm teratozoospermia congenital causes of infertility anorchia congenital absence of vas deferens genetic abnormalities clinifilter syndrome y chromosome microdeletions everything you need to know before you do IVF 1 research the process before deciding to pursue IVF patients should try to understand the treatment process and what is involved in each step being well informed is the best way to be mentally prepared for the emotional and physical changes that IVF can bring 2 make sure that you're as healthy as possible Adopting a balanced diet and fitness program is the best way to start any fertility journey. Studies have shown that women who are in better physical and emotional health have the highest chance of success with IVF. Drinking more than 4 units of alcohol a week has been proven to reduce success rates, and smoking cigarettes can cut the likelihood of conceiving by up to 60%. Women who are medically obese should also be aware that their weight can have a negative impact on their chances of success. 3. Timing is everything. IVF can be physically and emotionally stressful. I recommend that women avoid starting an IVF treatment cycle during known periods of high stress or a major life change, such as a career shift. 4. Build a solid support system. Given the physical and emotional toll that IVF can have on a woman's physical and emotional well-being, it's important to have a strong support network of family and friends to turn to when times are particularly challenging. In addition to the array of emotions that patients are prone to feeling while trying to conceive, fertility drugs can significantly affect your mood. 5. Stay positive but also realistic. Experience tells us that women under 35 have the highest success rates for conceiving through both natural and assisted reproductive technologies. Beyond that age, the chances for success begin to decline significantly. Stay positive and confident on your respective IVF journeys, but also be mindful that factors such as age, weight, lifestyle habits and general health will determine your likelihood of success. Intrauterine Insemination IUI. 
women, with adequate ovulation and below 40 years, without damage to fallopian tube can be treated with IUIN. Women superovulated by gonadotrohins, multiple egg dev. Using a thin soft catheter, sperm are placed either in the cervix or in the uterine cavity. Advantages This procedure can be an effective solution for men with a low sperm count or poor motility, where the sperm can't make the long journey to the egg. Low count compared to other art. Disadvantages Timing in the process of insemination is important. Low success rate, result are only 10 to 20 percent. Fallopian tubes must be unobstructed. In vitro fertilization, IVF. IVF broadly deals with the removal of eggs from a woman, fertilizing them in the laboratory and then transferring the fertilized eggs into uterus a few days later. Infertility due to the following causes may be considered for IVF. Failed ovulation induction. Tubal diseases. Endometriosis. Idiopathic infertility. General protocol. Ovarian stimulation. Egg retrieval. Sperm collection. Fertilization in the laboratory. Embryo culture. Embryo transfer. Cryopreservation. 1. Ovarian stimulation. Both the male and female partner made to undergo fitness tests and checkups. Injectable medications are provided to the female partner daily for an average of 10 to 12 days to stimulate the woman's ovaries to produce multiple eggs. The ovarian response to the medications are monitored with the help of ultrasound and blood work and medication dosing is adjusted accordingly. 2. Egg Retrieval When the eggs are mature and ready, the woman undergoes an ultrasound-guided egg retrieval procedure under light sedation. The eggs are retrieved from the patient using a transvaginal technique called transvaginal oocyte retrieval involving an ultrasound-guided needle piercing the vaginal wall to reach the ovaries. Through this needle follicles can be aspirated, and the follicular fluid is passed to an embryologist to identify ova. Usually takes between 20 to 40 minutes, 10-30 eggs retrieved. 3. Sperm Collection In the meantime, Semen is prepared for fertilization by removing inactive cells and seminal fluid in a process called sperm washing. If semen is being provided by a sperm donor, it will usually have been prepared for treatment before being frozen and quarantined, and it will be thawed ready for use. 4. Fertilization in the Laboratory After the eggs and sperm have been analyzed and prepared, the eggs are then inseminated. The sperm and the egg are incubated together in a culture media in order for the actual fertilization to take place. The duration of this co-incubation should be about 1 to 4 hours to have higher pregnancy rates. 5. Embryo Culture After fertilization, the embryos are allowed to grow in special media for 3 to 5 days until they have reached optimal growth. The main durations of embryo culture are until cleavage stage, day 2 to 4 after co-incubation, or the blastocyst stage, day 5 or 6 after co-incubation. Embryo culture until the blastocyst stage confers a significant increase in live birth rate per embryo transfer. 6. Embryo Transfer Laboratories have developed grading methods to judge oocyte and embryo quality. 1-3 embryos are then transferred into the uterus 3-5 days after egg retrieval. Under ultrasound guidance, a thin long catheter containing the embryos is passed through the cervix into the uterus where the embryos are placed. After embryo transfer, 3-5 days of pelvic rest is recommended. A pregnancy test is scheduled 12 days later. 7. Cryopreservation Preservation in frozen state is regarded as cryopreservation. Semen, fertilized eggs and embryos can be cryopreserved. Human embryos have been successfully preserved in the presence of cryoprotectant like 1,2-propanediol or dimethyl sulfoxide or glycerol. It was stored at 196 oc under liquid nitrogen. At appropriate time, the embryos are thawed and is transferred to uterus. 
During IVF you can use this technique to cryopreservation embryons for a second chance or for a second baby. Advantages Fertilization is confirmed before implantation CA occur. Gives women with damaged avitux the opportunity to carry their own fattest. Disadvantages Implantation in the uterus does not always occur. Higher risk of twins or triplets, which also increases the risk of complications and miscarriages. Side effects associated with the fertility medication. Higher risk of ectopic pregnancy, especially in women that had previous problems with their avitux. In vitro fertilization should remain in your memory as a beautiful experience. Thank you for following. Please subscribe for more videos.